There are specific rules about the return electrode application. Number one, this return electrode should ideally be put closest to the site of surgery as possible. So, if you're operating over the abdominal area, try avoiding putting it over the calf area. That's a little distant. You're allowing possibilities of remote injury and stray current. So, if you put it closest, under, just on the gluteal, on the thigh, that would be the better option. So don't go far from the site of surgery, that's one thing. Second thing, remember the rule I talked about, thin in, thin out, burn. Thin in, broad out, no burn. So try and make sure you always have a broad out, not a broad thin out. So how will that work? It would mean when you apply it, you have to apply it so that the broad surface, the broad surface, is close to the site of surgery. So when you operate here, it would go and disperse here and there'll be no buns. So one of the rules is it can never be put like this because you are not going to expect this electricity to go and disperse over that area. It will go to the closest area and converge here and if it converges here, it will cause a burn here because it will be thin in, thin out. Same with this. This is not allowed. This is thin in, and this is relatively thin, so if you're not careful and you use the wrong uh, mode, like quiet mode with very high voltages, you may get a burn here. So this is very important to understand. With the new machines, it is usually going to only find a way out through this. So it may not find a way out through the other structures like the stirrups and the ECG electrodes, but in the past that has happened and if you don't have the newer uh, automated uh, electrode monitoring, then you would rather be still careful about having the metals and making sure that your ECG is not closer than your return electrode otherwise you find a way out from here. So you have to be careful about such things. So application, number one, right direction. Number two, right size. So this cannot be cut into two to make it fit a smaller person. This cannot be used in a very obese patient. They have a bigger size. So you have to have the right size for the right patient for the right procedure. Number one. Number two, this in regards to reuse. Yes, this could be reused provided the application is complete. So it's ideally meant for single use, and it will, I would recommend that it's for single use, but it does not mean that this, in a situation where you do not have a spare one, cannot be reused as long as it still has a good adhesive layer and it sticks very well all around. Then it is still acceptable. The third thing is try and avoid using this over a bony prominence. So you can't use it over bony prominences because they are poor conductors of electricity, will cause heating and will have a burn there. Avoid a hollow space like the popliteal fossa. So if you apply it there, it doesn't apply in the center, it will either show you a red alarm or if it works through, then it will cause burning around the surfaces on the sides because there is poor contact. Avoid areas with a lot of hair because when you put this here, it will stick to the hair, but there will be a space between the hair and the skin. And because of that air gap, you may get I mean, some little bit of uh, stray current and shock that you may get causing a burn. Avoid using this over metallic dye tattoos because tattoos have metallic dyes. So when you hit this put over there, you could heat the metallic dye and sometimes cause a problem. Do not be afraid of water over this or saline jumping over this. Saline is a conductor and a thing will happen. It will just, as long as there is a connectivity between this plate and your patient and your body, it is going to take the current back. So putting an electrical conductor or, or for that matter any liquid on it will not cause a problem. Spirit will not cause a problem. There is no short circuits here that is going to cause sparks that will cause a burn. But the challenge with liquids is it will not allow this to be as adhesive. So the reason we say keep it 
dry is not because we expect burns, but it's because we expect this to stick properly. And if it doesn't stick properly, then there'll be a problem. So those are some of the rules to remember about the return electrode. So please, next time onwards, all of you surgeons ideally should be checking the site of the insertion, the placement of the return electrode before you start. The settings here should also be discussed, lowest settings possible, correct settings to be used. So safe use of electricity will make you a good surgeon. Thank you very much.